Greetings everyone, this is Danny from HardTravel.com, your luxury all-inclusive experts, and today we're at the beautiful Secrets Playa Mujeres Golf and Spa Resort. Now this adults-only retreat is a real, real treat, especially because it's in Playa Mujeres. This gated community is special for a lot of reasons, but mostly the fact that they have incredible beaches. You've got Isla Mujeres just off the coast, so you get that beautiful, beautiful white sand that you've always dreamed about. They have a world-class spa, excellent restaurants, an incredible pool complex, but its setting right on the beach is absolutely stunning. So follow along as we tour the resort. So now I'm up on the lookout tower. There's two of them here, and what I love is that they're right in the middle of the mangroves that they preserved when they built this beautiful resort. You've got the lobby up behind me along with the entertainment complex, and then over to the side you can see all of the resort buildings where all the guests are staying, and also the rest of the restaurants, the pool, and the beautiful beach. What's so interesting and unique about this particular property is that they did maintain all of the mangroves in the middle of the property. So you're gonna take a golf cart, they have them plenty coming up and down nonstop, that goes between the two areas, but you get this extra breeze, the, the wonderful sound of the wildlife. You're standing in the middle there, you get all the different birds, there's lots of coatis, different animals. Um, but what's, what I like about it is it's just very, very unique and it still has an unbelievable beach. But what you get a lot of here is a lot of honeymooners, a lot of people celebrating anniversaries, couples getting away. You also have girlfriends groups, guys groups for golf or for other, other activities. They've got the full spa, so great for just about every single person. But it's a really, really solid five-star all-inclusive, and I think it's one of the best values in the entire area. This resort was built just a couple years ago, and so you have all of the new modern features, but also you've had all the rest of the foliage and everything grow in, so it's a really, really beautiful option. So now we're in the main pool area, which is right in the center of the horseshoe. Just like every great Mexican hacienda or resort, you've got it right here in the middle. The first pool area is actually a shallow walk-in. This is like a beach entry pool, really like that, kind of ease in because this is the cooler of the pools. This one's actually not heated, so it's really nice to be able to go back and forth, especially on a nice hot day. Now, in addition to the walk-in seating, you also have this great bench seating that's in the pool all the way throughout. Now over to my right, you're gonna see several bally beds. These ones over here are complimentary. You're gonna to wanna to have the pool concierge in the morning when you get up and head out. You're gonna to wanna to have the pool concierge reserve that for you. Um, but in addition to that, you can see all of the seating all the way around the resort. You've got these really nice, comfortable loungers, extra padded. They've got the towels right there ready for you. And then of course the umbrellas and the concierges are happy to move those around for you. And of course, you've got drink service at all of the loungers. So this is, you're going to find a perfect place somewhere around this pool that you can sit back, relax, whether it's right here or in the front looking out at the beautiful ocean view. So now I'm headed across the bridge that technically separates the cooler pool and the heated pool right here. In addition to that, this is the first place you can get the glimpse of these chairs, these nice loungers that are actually in the water. I love the ones that sit on the shelf there so you can put your feet in the water, have that nice coolness, and then really, really just relax. Now over here to the right, you've got a hot tub. There are several hot tubs throughout the entire property. In fact, all the way around the pool, they're kind of dotted. So as we continue along, you can see you've got this lounge area right here. Now, of course, this pool is day and night and night. In fact, I think it's even more beautiful. It lights up. It's got this beautiful kind of blue glow behind it. This is a lounge area. And then as we head out here as well, you've got this great area with the fire pits and other loungers as well. You'll have drink service in the early evening. So another place just to kind of sit and relax maybe before or after your dinner and just really experience everything the resort has to offer. Now, as we continue along, we're now at Sugar Reef. So Sugar Reef is both a bar, got it, can't have enough bars here at an all-inclusive, and it's also a grill. So this is a really quick, casual place. You can get some grab-and-go items. Also, you can order off the menu as well, and then you just grab it and have a seat right here. The flank steak is really, really excellent and uh, one of my favorite things to eat anywhere on the resort anyways. So as we continue along, you can see you have more of the loungers with the umbrellas here. You've got more of these loungers that are in the water as well, but directly across is the signature of any Secrets Resort, and that is the Manatees Swim Up and Beach Bar right here. So you can get a great view from up top, but down below you can see the area where you can swim up, grab your favorite cocktail, be it a pina colada, margarita, I happen to love a lava flow myself, or for my dad, that Captain Morgan and Coke. But whatever it is that you love, you can sit there and relax, though you gotta keep an eye out for floating manatees. You're probably gonna see me, though. I'll probably look like a lobster at that point. But as we continue along, you see you have this another bridge. So it's kind of a, a huge flowing pool that is divided up. And now what you have is your third and final pool. And this is the one with the most beautiful views in the entire resort. You've got that semi-infinity edge here all along the front. 
but when I'm standing here, all I get is incredible beach views. And now even further in front of me, you see those beachfront valley beds. Those ones are for an additional cost. You can reserve those with the pool concierge as well or with your preferred club uh, guest, guest concierge. Totally understand why, because the views are out of this world. So just behind me is the resort. You can really see the setup. It's a large horseshoe around that beautiful pool area. But look at all of these oceanfront rooms. Every single one of them down here on the bottom level has a pool. In fact, they're some of the biggest pools in the industry and they're private. They're not those shared swim ups right here. But check out the room tours. We have just about every single room tour and suite here at Seacrest Playa Mujeres. Make sure that you check those out. We go in depth so you can see what it's all about. And then of course, when you're ready to book, reach out to Hard Travel. We'd love to help you. Now we're gonna continue down to the beach, but as we head to the beach, what you can see is on all sides, you have this beautiful, very, very lush foliage. And I love so much about this resort that they really incorporated it into it. And even the stuff that they put in, that they added back in plant-wise, now in the last five, six years has really come up. And you really get that sense of more than just being on the stark beach, but having all that beautiful bits of Mexico that this area presents. Now this Pacific beach, because you have Isla Mujeres directly out in front of us, it really does stop all of that sargasm seaweed. So if that's something that you're, in, you're worried about, which these days it's a good reason to have concern in certain other resorts, but here, one of the reasons people come here is that you really, really don't have to deal with that at all. Now we're down on the beach and we're at the beach bar. Of course, this is the Bar Acuda, fun name in there, but this is what it's all about. Sit here, look out, you've got the beautiful sand in front of me, the beautiful ocean, and uh, well, cocktail in my hand in a few minutes, I'm gonna be pretty happy right here just swinging the night away. So as we head over to the right, you can see there are a ton of loungers out here. They have umbrellas that they'll put up. In fact, there's quite a few umbrellas down on the front. All of these are first come, first serve. Anybody can utilize them. And what I love about being down here is that beautiful ocean breeze. In fact, you can probably hear that there in the background. As we continue on, there's a bit of a sports area. Uh, they usually have volleyball there. They'll do cornhole during the day, different kinds of fun activities and games. Uh, and then of course, you've got the beach right in front of you. So over to my left, there are more beach chairs down on the ocean front, but what you've got is this huge area of bali beds that is just for preferred club guests. So this is another one of those great perks that comes with the preferred club, in addition to having the lounge and then of course all of the extra access throughout your entire stay. But this is my favorite thing to do here is to come on down, grab a valley bed in the morning, and this is just a perfect place to read, relax, it's very comfortable. Of course, you do have drink service throughout, uh, but really, this is what it's all about, that beautiful beach, stepping into that nice warm water, and uh, really, just vacationing. So one little tip with the Preferred Club Bali Beds, everybody wants this very front row that looks directly out at the ocean for obvious reasons, but you're gonna wanna work on that with the Preferred Concierge. They can do that for you first thing in the morning, secure it for you, and then you got your space for the rest of the day. So now we're out on this beautiful, pristine beach. And one of the great things about this beach here is that you can walk all the way up. Basically, I mean, you can go for incredibly long walks in either direction on the beach. I love that. You've got the nice water lapping up. And of course, I'm from Southern California where we have pretty cold water, but what this is perfect for is stepping out, especially when it's cool wherever you're living, and just heading out into that beautiful, beautiful warm water and enjoying everything that the Caribbean's all about. So now we're headed into the spa. We're gonna take you through every single space. As soon as you walk in here, you've got this beautiful water feature, got the aromatherapy, and this is where it splits up. So you've got women to the right, men to the left. We're gonna head into the men's locker. It's identical men's and women. So follow me on in. I'll show you what that's all about. So as soon as you come in, they're gonna get you checked in at the front desk, and then you come in here, they're gonna get you situated with a locker. So inside the locker, you're gonna have everything you need. You've got these, you got a towel here. There's also going to have your robe and then these unbelievable sandals. In fact, I'm even rocking the socks and sandals because eh, why not? And then as you continue on through into the spa area, you're gonna have the restroom facilities, some sinks to get ready. And then over here, you've got mirrors and chairs to get ready as well. And then just around the corner, you're gonna have four showers. Now in the showers themselves, they're really nice size. They've got a great little bench here. Um, you have the spa amenities and nice upgraded ones and then the rainforest shower head. But keep in mind, this is exactly the same on this side as it is on the ladies side as well. So just outside the locker facilities, you're gonna find both separate facilities for men and women. So this is the gentleman's locker. You're gonna have this nice rainforest shower head here where you can rinse off and then a great dry sauna experience. And you also have a steam room. On the other side, you're gonna have another shower, but what I like is you can kind of go in between them, go in the sauna, rinse off, go in the steam room, and kind of go back and forth before your massage, before your treatment, or even before you go in the hydrotherapy circuit. 
So just outside the locker facilities, you have this zen relaxation area. This is where you're going to go either before or after your treatments. You grab a seat here. They're going to bring you some nice teas or herbal uh, essences and things like that to, to really relax you. And then, of course, you've got this great zen garden. I can play with these things forever. Getting more relaxed, more relaxed. Anyway, this is the place where you just go to get that spa vibe. So one of the great amenities that this spa has is a really fantastic hydrotherapy circuit. Everything here in Cancun is based on the water. And so here, basically, it's just them taking that to the next level. You have a huge hydrotherapy pool. You've got some bali beds around the pool itself. But what you have is several different stations. Right here, you've got some chairs that are inside there, really high pressure. This is for leg circulation. You've got the bubble beds over there, kind of just increase the circulation throughout and relaxes you. Further on, you've got the lower back, the upper back, and different therapy pressures. So if you want that really heavy on the knot there, was working on that recently. Um, but as we continue along, you can see that it's totally enclosed. They've got really, really nice foliage here. So you feel that like you're in a very relaxed, separate part of the resort all together. Now, one thing that's great about this area, especially if you're here as a couple, um, it is unisex. So inside the locker rooms, of course, those are separated by men and women, and then those saunas and steam rooms are as well. But as you continue along to the side here, you can see that there's a second set of sauna and steam room here. You've got this great plunge pool. So if you want to get nice and cool, that's really great to go kind of from the warm to the cold. Then as we continue along, they also have three different kinds of showers. So you've got your rainforest shower over here. You've got the other plunge pool. And then all the way around the corner, you've got that nice ice cold bucket. So if you're brave enough, step on in, pull the chain, and you get that nice ice feature. So hot, cold, hot, cold is the theme of all of it, but really it's to improve circulation and really just get you relaxed. If you have a spa treatment, this is something that's going to be complimentary, or if you're in the preferred club category. It's one of the best amenities in my mind of the preferred club, in addition to everything else that you get throughout the resort. So now we're inside one of the treatment rooms. And of course, it's a, a full service spa. They have all of the wraps and the facials and those kind of things that you would imagine. I absolutely love the hot stone massage. But one of the things I think they really excel at here is the aromatherapy. So they do it several different ways. You can even see starting over here, you've got this nice, beautiful foot bath here to prepare and get ready. They've got some of the different aromas here ready for you to choose from. So to prepare, you've got this huge shower. You've got the shower wand, the rainforest shower head, so you can relax, get ready. You're gonna get in, get in, have your massage, and then of course you can use that as well on the way out. They also have couples treatment rooms as well, but basically everything that you would imagine at a great resort spa. Oh, hey there. So now we're actually in the beauty salon. They have a full service beauty salon, once again, perfect for weddings or just if you wanna get a hair, a color, or a mani-pedi. So right here to the left are going to be the hair cutting stations. You see they've got three of them right here. Now over here, you're gonna have the manicure stations. There's three of them set up right here as well. And then you've got one hair wash and rinse station right back here. As you continue along, you do have a pedicure station there, and then you have several more pedicure stations right here as well. So once again, day at the beauty shop, this is a perfect place for it if that's something you're interested in. So now we're in one of my absolute favorite places to see usually once and walk right by, but I know that a lot of people do love the gym and on vacation, it's really important to have one for a lot of people. So right here, you've got your bikes. So there's two different kinds of seated bikes. You've got all of these treadmills looking out here at the beautiful foliage. And then over here, you have the elliptical. Now, one thing that I like here is I don't have to worry about ceiling height like I normally do. I've got about, I don't know, four feet of clearance or something along those lines, which is great because you can crank those up and do a nice elevation. So your ellipticals are over here. And then as you continue along, you've got all kinds of different circuit machines right here. You've got some leg presses, some arm presses, biceps, tries, all that kind of stuff. Another large uh, Smith leg machine right there. And then a few more to, to fill it out. So if you're looking for kind of that full circuit workout, perfect spot for that. You also have some free weights. I love that the dumbbells actually go all the way up to 100 pounds. I couldn't lift that even if I really, really wanted to, but I know a lot of people can. And then over here, of course, you've got your uh, squat machine as well. So you also have two outdoor sport court areas. Right here is the tennis court. So if you like to play tennis, or you wanna play a little pickleball, it's always great to have that option. I know uh, for Taylor and I, it's fun to, to get out and uh, a little exercise. Ball. 
Well, there you go. My tennis skills perfectly exhibited. Okay, so on the other side of the sport court, you've got a half basketball court, great place for a pickup game or if you just want to shoot. Sport I'm a little bit more familiar with here, for sure. You know, nothing but net. And of course, you guys all know the Rick Berry style is coming. Oh, well, there you go. Story of my life. So now we're heading in and we're gonna check out the lobby. As you head on into the space, there's seating areas all around here. You can see that they have their Four Diamond Awards up there. They've been a Four Diamond Resort since it launched. It was launched in 2014, so they earned it its very first year and every year since. You've got more seating here and you also have the check-in desk on both sides. You're also going to find your tour desk over here in the corner. And then if you're checking in as a preferred club guest, you're just gonna head right on down. They're gonna take you all the way down to the pool area where the preferred club lounge is. As we continue on in, what I love about this space is it's open on all sides. So you get that wonderful breeze. And as soon as you get here, you know that you're in the tropics and in for a great time. So just below the main lobby is the first of the two major complexes here at Secrets Playa Mujeres. This area is really the entertainment and specialty dining complex. As you can see, there's lots of different spaces here where you can sit before or after dinner. You've got these great little areas here and the entire thing is surrounded by this fantastic water feature. Now just inside here is another lounge, kind of turns into a little bit of an ultra lounge. And every single evening here, they're gonna have live music. Last night they had a violinist, the night before they had a guitar, but this is once again, just a place to sit and relax. And then once a week, they actually rev it up a little bit and it turns a little bit to a nightclub experience. So continuing on in, I'm gonna take you to the first of three specialty restaurants that are in this part of the resort. So the first one is Bordeaux. This is a French restaurant. I wouldn't say it's truly classical French, but it's kind of, you know, the classic French dishes and then also several different Mexican and other takes on it as well. I love that they have the outdoor area and that they have fans out here, but let me take you on inside. So just inside you see the beautiful French decor. You've got the booths over here to the side. You also have these really beautiful bright blue booths as well. So if you want to dine with a couple friends, you can. Also there's plenty of two tops throughout. But as you look around, you get kind of that, that general French style, a little bit, I would say Versailles here and there, uh, but a little bit whimsical, but just if you love French food, this is a great option here. So just across, you're gonna find Portofino. Now Portofino is the Italian restaurant. Once again, I don't think I've ever been to an all-inclusive that actually didn't have an Italian restaurant. And they do a good job with that here and it's like all the Secrets Resorts. So once again, over here, you have outdoor seating. You've got the beautiful continuation of the water feature and then the fans up above. And then let's head on inside here. So as we head on inside, we are met with a couple walls of wine. It's a really beautiful decoration in here. And I actually love the classic modern that they have uh, tied in with uh, different modern Italian as well. So as we continue on in, you've got the booths over in the corner, bigger booths, you also have smaller, you have two tops. And then as you follow me all the way around, you can see the diversity of seating in here actually extends not just here with these extra booths, but into the private room over here to the side. You see the wine theme goes throughout the entire space. Right in here, you have this beautiful area for a chef's dinner, also for wine tastings. Once again, you've got wine all the way on the wall behind me. You see you have these beautiful, beautiful decanters, and there's even wine bottles on the ceiling up above as well. Now this space, just for reference, is between Bordeaux and Portofino, and this could be used for a variety of events, from private ones to specially arranged chef dinners and wine tastings. As we continue along, you have the beautiful water feature once again, and this is Himitsu. If you've been to Secrets before, you know exactly what it is, but it's pretty much the number one restaurant here on the resort. It's Pan-Asian style, so outside here you have several different seating options, and inside you're gonna have diverse options as well, because it's really three different restaurants in one. So this is gonna be more of the standard Asian menu. In fact, last night I had the, the barbecue pork glazed ribs were fantastic, but you can order from the sushi menu as well. But in here, it's just kind of general uh, Japanese, but also more Pan-Asian flavors. As we continue in, you can see that you have the two top tables. You also have the booths for four, but one really cool feature are these private rooms. Let me take you inside here. You can see that it's set up Japanese style. So you sit very low with your feet underneath there. Actually, not sitting on a, on a cushion as you would in Japan. Uh, but I love that you have this because it's just that extra level of special that Secrets always does, especially with honeymoons. So as we continue along, you see more of the same style and then you get to 
the Teppan Yaki area. I love this because it's more than just having dinner. It's kind of dinner and a show. So one of the great parts about staying at a Secrets is visiting either just as a couple or with your friends or a group of friends. And this is the perfect option for that. So there we go. You can't do it without the volcano. Woohoo! But thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate that. So the final fantastic space that they have is this sushi bar. So of course, you have fantastic seafood here. We're right on the ocean. They got some of the grit. The mahi mahi here the other night was absolutely fantastic. But you've got the sushi bar set up right here. There's, there's chairs generally right here. You've got an incredible chef once again. And of course, they have some great sake options in here as well. So if maybe you don't want the full experience, you can come in here, but you can also order off the entire menu in here as well. So there's several different retail shops. Right here, you're gonna find retail with some sundries. You've got some artisan goods in there as well, made locally. And then as you continue along, you've got more of this beautiful water feature, and you've got more retail up there, but that's gonna be more along the lines of uh, upscale clothing and beachwear. So now we're inside Desires. This is a multi-function space. Of course, it's a music lounge. It is the nightclub here on the property, but it's also a great sports bar option. So right as we head in here, you can see you've got this actual legitimately stadium seating and they even have pictures of fans up in the distance. You see you have a really large uh, dance floor right here. You've got your foosball table over there and then this is a full bar. But what I like about that is they've made the, the bar space really, really big as you should in a nightclub. And as you continue around to the other side, you've got more bar space over here. You've got uh, the DJ booth up in the distance. You also have some pinball. And then of course, you're gonna have billiards. And, who doesn't like to play billiards? Looks like I'm, well, looks like it's your turn actually. All right, so continuing on around the corner, you have more big screen TVs. Like I mentioned, you have the pinball machine here. They even have a pinball wizard that comes along with it. And then right over here, you've got that DJ booth. So as you can see, this is really kind of a something for everyone space, just like the entire resort is. You do what you want on vacation, and a lot of times, I wanna watch the game. So just outside of Desires, they added this really cool feature. It's actually a glow lounge. So these all light up, and even these uh, unique swings, I'll put it that way, they light up, and so it was really kind of a, a cool thing last night. They had live music going, you got the great ocean breeze, and everybody's out here doing something different, but having a great time. So now we're inside the Showtime Theater. It's actually a really big space and entertainment is a big part of what they do at Secrets. You got the full sound booth up there, over there. You've got the large stage, they've got all the lights. I do like that they even have, have treatments on the ceiling so it keeps the sound correct. And then over here to the left, you're gonna have a huge bar. Once again, as you would expect at an all-inclusive. Now I mentioned that entertainment was a big part of what they do. Over here you see that they've got the schedule. Once again, you can access it on the tablet in your room. But right now, they, throughout the day today, they've got some entertainment at the pool. They've got different things at the sports courts and things along those lines. But you're also gonna have some of the classics here. They've got a silent party. It's always fun to watch everybody dancing around to what sounds like absolutely nothing. The beach party, they do the Mexican theme party around the pool, the Caribbean, retro night. But of course, you're always gonna have Secrets Idol. And I will always love you. I think I'm going to win this year. I've been working on that for weeks. So one of the great casual places to hang out in the evening is the Rendezvous Lounge. And before we head in, I just wanted to point out there is an ATM down there around the corner. But as soon as you walk in, you see the huge bar, which, of course, you have to have at a lounge at an all-inclusive. Right here, you've got pool table. Thank you, Chad. And there's other entertainment around here as well. You see you've got the different seating set up and over there you're gonna have live music in the evenings. They also have different games and things like that, but really this is just a place to chill before or after dinner. All right, so I'm here with my spirit animal, the flamingo. We got the same exact legs, what can I say? But right here is the Preferred Club Lounge. So this is one of the best assets that you get. One of the bonuses that you get for being in Preferred Club. You come right in here, there's actually a key right over there, you put the key card up, and this is where you're going to check in to the resort. So right when we come in, you can see here, this is a place where you can check in. This is also gentlemen and some ladies over around the corner here that will be helping you throughout your stay. But once again, this is only accessible for preferred club guests. 
Now, in addition to being a place where you go to you know, have assistance, it's also one of the best bars on site. You see here, they have several other options they don't have elsewhere. They make all kinds of fancy cocktails and drinks. You've got some desserts over there. You've got some grab and go uh, small bites, salads, and well, pff, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but he knows my order. Cheers, gracias. Here you go. So follow me around the corner as we keep coming in. You can see there's more lounge space here. You have different kinds of seating. You also have a small business center back here if you need to print something. As you continue along, you see all kinds of different furniture options. This is actually where we were sitting, having cocktails earlier last night before we headed to dinner. And there's a TV there as well, perfect for sports. But really, this is a, just a very comfortable, upgraded place that you get in addition to everything else in this incredible resort. All right, so now we're headed into Taylor's Happy Place, of course, coffee shop. This is Coco Cafe. So what you're gonna find here is everything that you would at a coffee shop. They've got different espressos, brewed coffee. You also have some great snacks, some desserts. Some of the dolces are really, really good here. And then you even have grab and go veggies and fruits. But one of my favorites is of course, the soft pretzels because well, I'm on vacation, why not? So right next to the pool, you're gonna find the Seaside Grill. So this is open for lunch and dinner every single day. It's kind of a mixed grill options. In the middle of the day, you kind of get a little more Americana, uh, but in the evening, it turns into a little bit of a hybrid of a, a steakhouse, but really it's just a great grill option. If you stayed at Secrets before, you know exactly what it's all about. So next up, you have the Market Cafe. The Market Cafe is a really large interior space. It's being remodeled right now. Actually, it's just over to my left. But what it is, is it's the large buffet option. There's several different stations. They have a, like a pizza oven in there during the morning. You're gonna have omelets to order. So you have kind of that mix of grab and go and also the show cooking stations as well. Uh, but this is that classic option they have at every Secrets and just about every single all-inclusive resort. Now it's just breakfast and lunch because in the dinner there are a ton of options. And in fact, we're just getting to one more of those options. That is El Patio, which is the Mexican restaurant here at Secrets. An indoor outdoor seating arrangement once again, but this is classic Mexican. You're gonna find a lot of the things that you would expect. They have enchiladas, tacos, but also digs a little bit deeper into some classic and authentic Mexican dishes. So inside the space here, it's got really beautiful decor. I especially love all of the chandeliers on the ceiling, but you have a mix of tables. You've got two tops that are in booths. You also have bigger ones for six, eight, or 10. You've got this beautiful wine and champagne case presentation right there with some really good mezcal as well. And then over here, you see a little bit more seating. But what I love is they've taken the theme, so you're gonna have that Mexican hacienda style, style tile even on the floor, but a great option if you want some classic Mexican cuisine. So we're headed down to Oceana. You can see once again, all of this beautiful tropical foliage all around. But one question that you might have is, does it rain? Of course it does, but they're very well prepared. I love that they always have umbrellas wherever you are around the entire resort. You've got that and uh, just continue on in. So now we're gonna head into the Oceana restaurant. Now this is a seafood restaurant. That's exactly what it is. We go, of course, you have some incredible land-based foods as well. The flank steak is really amazing. But what this is all about is the oceanfront setting. So this is used for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is actually the preferred club area for breakfast and lunch, uh, but you can see how it's set up. But what this is really truly all about is the incredible ocean views. So as we head on in, you've got two tops, four tops. They've got the larger tables that are a little bit higher here as well. And then over behind me, you've got the full bar, including several different beers on tap. The whole entire venue has fans up above, so you've got that air constantly moving, and you have the beautiful breeze as well. They just opened up these massive glass doors right here, and they really open up the entire space to where now you have a lounge space and then more dining as well. You have these, these couches here, perfect place to grab a cocktail, sit and relax before your table's ready. Past the lounge area, you can see that they have these outdoor seating areas here. They've got the umbrellas up, so it keeps it nice and shaded during the day. They have these beautiful, beautiful lamps here for the evening, so you can imagine sitting here and either having that wonderful, wonderful grouper, mahi-mahi, the crab cakes were really excellent as well, or you like that flank steak. Whatever it is, this is the perfect place to do it, and nothing like dining right on the beach here in Mexico. So for those of you who love golf, they do have a fantastic golf course on site. It's a Greg Norman design course, 18 holes and 7,200 yards from the tips. And what I love about it is of course they have golf in the name of the resort, but they take that part really seriously. They're gonna take your clubs from you right when you check in, they'll store them for you. And then when you're ready to play, they're gonna bring them right over so that you can play right from the resort. When you get to the resort, it's very familiar for those of you who are golfers. You've got a great snack bar and bar. 
like to start there and maybe finish there as well. You've got the pro shop, of course, with all of the different uh, options and retail that you can purchase here. But let's head out to the course to see what it's all about. So we just headed past the starter. We're getting ready to head out to the course right now. It is important to note that the green fees are included at the two resorts, but you also need to know that you do pay for the cart rental. And if you bring your own clubs, of course, you utilize those, but they also have rental clubs as well if you want to take advantage of that. So follow me along as we head on out. Hey, Chad. Golf is always a blast, whether you're teaching your kid to play for the first time, enjoying those incredible family moments, or just playing with a group of friends. It's always a great way to get away, decompress, de-stress, and having it here on the resort is such a benefit. You don't have to go far for it. So let's see if I can channel my inner shark. Mm, not bad, on the fringe though. Let's, let's keep it going. Well, I know for me, time for a cerveza and out to the course. So of course, before you head out to the course, gotta work on the short game just a little bit. All lined up? Yeah, okay. All right. That is exactly the one I was aiming at. This is one of our favorite resorts in all of Mexico for meetings and conferences, whether it's just a leadership summit or you've got a really large group looking for an educational component or just a celebration. Secrets does a really good job with groups in general, and we've been working with them for years on it. And what I love so much about it is that you have that all-inclusive atmosphere. It's such a great way to supplement the conference. And in addition to the Secrets Adults Only, there is a Dreams that is connected just on the other side of the property. So if you have families coming as well, it can be the best of both worlds. So follow me inside as I show you what the conference room and center is all about. So now we're inside the convention center and they have a lot of different spaces that are diverse. So as we head in here, you can see that it's divided up currently. So this can open up completely. They open it wide up. They can even divide it up further to where you can have anywhere from between two to eight different breakout spaces, depending on the size. You can hold groups up to 500 in this particular space and you can do educational settings for about 300 to 350. In addition to the large meeting spaces, just down the hall, they have three great breakout and executive rooms as well. They're all set up with audio visual. They've got the TVs in there. And then you just basically just have the whatever setup works perfectly for you. Right now you've got six in an executive style. You see they have all the setups back there exactly like they will be on the conference day. Now, if you want something that's a little bit bigger, they have that as well, where you can get more in there. But what I love about this is every single conference takes different kinds of spaces and they've got a great way to mix and match just about the perfect option for any of the corporate and incentive groups that you may be thinking about. First off, congratulations for making it all the way through with us. We really appreciate you watching. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that you hit the like and the bell for notifications so you can get a lot more where this is coming from. When you're ready to plan your next beach resort, reach out to Hard Travel. Whether it's this perfect adults only beach right behind me that you've got, the incredible spa amenities or the golf, this resort may be perfect for you. At Hard Travel, we've been doing this for nearly 40 years. We know the ins and outs, and we know that we can help create the vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, and your family at an incredible value.